Hey, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexander and I'm a guitarist, composer and overall music nerd from Denmark. And in this video, I'm going to show you the solution to a problem I've been having for a long time. Enjoy. All right, so this video is going to be a little different than my usual videos. Uh, there's no guitar tones or helix presets or impulse responses or anything like that. But it's a solution to a problem I've been having basically ever since I started uh, recording myself and using Guitar Pro. So the problem arises if you, like me, uh, like to write your music or practice and do stuff in Guitar Pro. And at some point you want to convert that MIDI into Cubase or Logic or Pro Tools or whatever DAW you're using. And the tempo tracks and all of the things that you program if you program uh, time signature changes all that kind of stuff doesn't transfer from guitar pro into your door and to be honest if you play uh, progressive metal or anything like that uh, technical diff metal with a lot of tempo changes or time signature changes it's annoying to be honest i don't even know why this is still a problem we're in guitar pro 8 and this has been a problem all the time that i've been using this software but fear not i found a easy solution it's a little bit of a workaround it's easy and it's totally free. All right, let's head over to the screencast. And as you can see, I just have Guitar Pro open as per usual. I'm just opening the last thing I opened, a faceless uh, song that I've been working on and uh, kicking my ass. And as you can see, we start off in uh, in one tempo. And if I go to the tempo section here, you can see there's a few tempo changes along the way, right in the end as well. And throughout the song, there are, if I can find them, there are a few time signal changes, goes from 4-4 uh, four, four, to 6-4 to 5-8 to 12-8 to 6-4 and so on, right? So I could go into, as and I did for <laughs> many years, go into Cubase, uh, throw in the MIDI, and then sit here and count measures, uh, punching in the right tempo and punching in all of these signature changes into uh, each their own track, right? And it's super annoying. But I figure out a way to get around it. So what we would do is um, I have this file somewhere on my computer, right? Or you could export it. It doesn't matter. And then um, there's a software called Tux Guitar. So we just need to open the file in Tux Guitar. It's super easy. You can open the file by just going to file and click open, uh, going to find the tab and open it. It opens completely fine, unaltered, or if you created or you wrote the song in Guitar Pro, simply export the Guitar Pro file and open it. Um, they, they read the same file format. So it's super easy. And then basically from here, we just go file, we go export uh, like we would usually, export MIDI, we don't want to transpose it um, and we just put it on the desktop. We call it test and I saved it. And there uh, you can see the tempo is right. Everything is right. And we open Cubase and we can go file again. We can go import and go MIDI. No, no project. We open the test uh, boom. and here we have it, the MIDI. And as you can see down in the corner, the tempo is correct. If I uh, go to the tempo, we'll see we get all of the changes. Um, what I do here is that I usually go create a signature track. I add track and I add a tempo track and you can see all of the time signature changes are there and the tempo track, if you go in here is totally fine. Time saved. This is probably the, uh, the best and the easiest workaround for this uh, that I could find. As I said, I've been looking for something like this for many years and I just tried it out a few weeks ago. It just works. It saves a bunch of time if you work with uh, music like this. I'm not associated with Tux Guitar or anything like that. I don't even know who makes it or if they make money at all having a free uh, piece of software, but I put the link for Tux Guitar download down in the description so you can go uh, use this workaround yourself. So that's all for the video. Super simple trick, a workaround to a piece of software that should work on its own. And I, it's it beyond me why they haven't fixed this thing yet. I hope that you enjoyed this trick or trick. Uh, you enjoyed this method uh, rather, and uh, that it saves you some time. Feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, say whatever down in the comments. Have a nice day and I will see you next time.